Hey Stampers, Gainer again, and I got quite a few comments on the In Love cards, and yes, people did want to see me make them. So I'm starting off with card number one. It's this cute little butterfly background stamp. It's just adorable with this tiny little um, ladybug. I think it's a ladybug. And it says, you are so cute. And instead of using Coastal Cabana, I just dipped it in the ink to give it that feel of having a border all the way around. So I'm gonna grab my cut, the, the little stamps I'm using. This one and this one. My card base is just a standard A4 card base cut in half, four and one eighth. It's scored at four and one eighth. It's eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. And if you press the show more and click on the blog post, uh, it will take you straight to the measurements for this card so you could be able to watch them at the end of the video so once you've watched the video if you click the show more the top one that says my blog click on that link it takes you straight to that uh, card straight to those measurements and you won't have to go rooting so I've sussed out how to do it <laughs> so I've cut my white card stock just an eighth of an inch shorter so this is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths, and this is three and five eighths by five and three eighths. So they will adhere together beautifully on our card there. Um, I do have some extras somewhere. I think that's about big enough. Might have to get another piece of card stuck out. Unless I've got some big enough there you go look see this is why I keep these little bits for handy little things like that so I don't have that would have gone in the bin now it's going to be useful on my card so I am going to use the stamparatus because it's a background stamp and not only that if it doesn't stamp all the image then I can go back in and ask it to stamp it some more so I'm just laying this down. It does just about fit on. I did this on my other card. I uh, I stamped and then cut it down. So I just want to make sure I've got that right in that corner there. And that I've got it lined up on my card. I am going to be moving that corner so don't worry about it. Thing is, I know that corner fits two squares, two squares. So I can add that on there. Remove. Look at that. I shouldn't let them clash together. And then go in and pick up. Perfect. So I might have to move this magnet around just a little bit only after I've stamped so with the background stamps and stuff like this I do like to rub the ink on because you can stand and bash and bash and bash all you want and uh, it doesn't always go in so I'm just giving this a good press in all the areas see what I mean about this corner so if I keep my finger there now I can come back in and stamp this bottom section it's just about out of putting your magnets in the right spot look at that first time I haven't had to double link that's a good uh, that's good perfect I will be keeping my cloth at the ready so I can use that I'm gonna grab myself a medium sized block just for any sentiments and other little items like that So here's my little cutie pie. I'm gonna pop him, her, whichever. See if we can get that. Look 
because I am going to fussy cut it out. How cute is that? How adorable. See what I mean? Two squares, two squares. Perfect. And if anyone wants to know, these are corners for the Misty and they were gifted to me. So I don't know where you, I think you can buy them in America. I have not, I, I've never tried to buy them. So because I had them gifted to me. So I don't really need to buy them when I've got a beautiful friend out there who was so kind as to send me these. And I really do appreciate it deeply. So these are the In Love Art stamps. Uh, here's the sentiments that I'm going to be using on some of the cards. In fact, I've used all those. So I'll leave that out. And I can pop my little ladybird. He was just adorable. Get them out of the way. And I'm going to use the dark ink on my other. Excuse me, lady. I've just... Uh, Just amazing. Just started filming. I've got a piece here that I'm going to use. Where's that sentiment? You are so cute on my black. And I want it down here in the bottom corner. How cute is that? Love it. And then I can pop these items away then. And then we can get on with our colouring, which I adore. You all know that. Look after your tools and they'll look after you, I see. So let's get on with this cute, cute, cute little ladybug and zooming in so you can see. I used the light and dark, um, what's it called, smoky slate, and I'm not too fussed if I go on anywhere else because the, the dark red will overpower that so there's the light now I'm coming in with the dark and I'm just gonna go just under his chin and I'm gonna follow these lines perfect let me just cast a little shadow on this side and then I just love the dark Rio Red. I think it's a beautiful colour. I know there is little feet, but I just didn't want all of him to be grey all over without having some of his gorgeous red showing. And I'll add Win Costello to that later after I've cut it out and I've attached it to my card. So now we can colour these beautiful butterflies. So what I did, I chose two that were pretty similar. And I coloured them in. So this one. Now I know I'm going to have dark centres. So like I'm saying again, it doesn't matter if I go over. And I'm trying not to, but don't worry if you do, that's what I'm saying. So that one, this one down here. I mean, at £1.84 I think this stamp set is. And I will put add all the links below as, as well so if you want to buy any of these items I don't gain anything I just get the stamp sets for free uh, but you get 20% discount if you use the code that's below as well so and like I say if you want measurements for the card click the blog post 
and if you want to buy the products you can just click the link on each item and it'll take you straight to that item perfect so first of all I should say I should have gone around all my body parts of the ladybugs in the dark not the light <laughs> I'll get there in a minute girls it's because the ladybird's scent is always dark cute There we go, so they're done. And I did all the little sun shines. I did all those in yellow as well. They're so cute. I love this bag. When I saw this on their site, I thought, oh, you know me and butterflies. And I love a good background stamp. Hence the reason. Love it. And I'm adding yellow. Oh, I, no, purple's going on there. It's the yellow dots. Perfect. Love that. I'm just looking. Is there any yellow anywhere else? Yes, just this one here. Love it. Now the dark purple is going in that one. Would have been better without the yellow, but. I don't think you're going to see much of that, so. Sometimes I wish it was a blend for every colour, but then, oof, you're talking. Oh my god, big, big amounts of colour. Perfect. Hopefully my sign will go over there. Just find it's very therapeutic. And adding those beautiful sequins on at the end just made the card pop a little bit so adorable I'll go back to my red I mean, you don't have to stick to these colors even you can choose whatever colors you want these were just my faves Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So now for my old olive colour. Can you see everything? I'm going to definitely have to invest in a new light, even though I have, just not bright enough. I think it is, you know, I can see from my desk face it's really bright, but oh, when you look at the videos then you think, oh wow, and I've got way too much of a shadow, so...
I just find it so relaxing. Just love it. Yellows, greens, purples. Magical to see butterflies. These, these, the colours you can paint them would be awesome. Everything's got a value in life. Even a gorgeous little butterfly. You only live for 24 hours. It's mad, isn't it? It's mad. Got to sleep, wake up. Well, they go to bed. Go to bed. Short lifespan. All that time as a caterpillar just to burst out as a beautiful butterfly for 24 hours. Their wings are so delicate you can't touch them. I think that's what's so beautiful about them. You don't see them very often. Gorgeous. Same process for the moth as well. You get some gorgeous looking moths in mind as well. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Like I say, I'm not worried I've gone over because my next colour then is going to be darker. Hide any uh, boo boobs I make. Beautiful. Excuse me, ladies, I've just got to. my nose again. Ha, ah, I've missed one. So. If anyone wants one of these cards at the end when I've done all seven, let me know. I will post it to you and leave it blank for you to send to somebody else. How would you like that? You know, if you've got someone you want to say you're so cute to, and you know they like butterflies, I will send it. Now my next colour is the Rock Old Cold Rose. I love this in the dark. I think it's absolutely stunning. Beautiful colour. Just take my battery nice, okay. Beautiful. Oh, I'm a big one there. It's just so cute.
how cute is that love it love it love it i'm just going to zoom back out a little bit there's those cutie pies i'm going to grab my glue oh wow that was a pop <laughs> and i'm going to just Glue them together. Nice equal border all the way around. Flip and and then again we can do the same on this arm. Perfect. nice even border that is so cute now i'm going to pop that back on there because i don't need that for the minute and grab my scissors and i'm going to proceed to fussy cut this little cutie out used to this it's just gonna be a little bit on the awkward side to get inside there I might just actually leave them like that so I don't make a pig's ear of it so let's grab some dimensionals I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave this a little bit longer and I'm just gonna get my larger scissors and cut that down. Just give that a little I was think if you can cut past there and go like that you get it all back beautiful so coastal cabana just to match my card base i'm just resting it on there give it like a little green edge just tilting it forward a little bit Perfect. And then to get the corners, just push it on the corner. And you get it on the inside as well. I always click them into place. And I'm going to grab two little ones, just because I've left those pouches on. Perfect. How cute. Yeah, I start my uh, new meds tomorrow as well. That is just the cutest thing ever. And see where I've made that little boo-boo there? I'm just going to pop that across there. They're ideal for more sentiments. That is adorable. So, where are my sequins? Here they are. I 
I've got a few of those little blue ones left. You could add any colour. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so I randomly added two together. Large and a small. In several places. Uh, large and small. large and a small and then three single ones on their own hello mr boys hello. oh thank you darling thank you sweetness use the tablet there thank you oh you're a darling yeah. thank you one two and three just to get an even number so we've got two four six seven eight nine there we go odd numbers and there is that cute i haven't finished yet when costella's coming in i'm just gonna add some on this cute little ladybug without trying to touch the red and then just over a couple of these dots in the center Make everything sparkle. Who doesn't like a sparkly card? So cute. Oh look, you missed that one. So let's just add sparkle. Pick up a little bit of that red. Put that in there. Cute. Love it. There we go. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. And I always just clean off at like the back of my finger. Fetch me another lemonade, isn't he? Adorable. I have a new tablet to take now at eight o'clock. So he fetches it up with a nice cold lemonade. Oh. So there we go, there is my card for, oh, look, 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 I was going to say, oh wait there now, uh... oh seven in the box cards, I can't remember which one they did first, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well they're all going to be individually done, I think I've done one with you all but I can't remember which one, so I'll go back over the video before I double do one video twice but there we go i'd love a thumbs up and a share that is just so cute and adorable so if anyone wants one of these cards i will put them in a cello bag with an envelope I won't stamp them on the back or anything and i will send them to you if you're in the uk only because postage starts to get a little bit ridiculous abroad unless you want to pay the pmp yourselves and then you can send these to whoever you want I would really love a thumbs up and a share, that would be amazing. And uh, yeah, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to press subscribe and the little bell. I used to post every single day, I've knocked it down to four times a week. But uh, hopefully, and fingers crossed, once my meds start working well again, you never know, I might go back up. <laughs> but take care for now. Bye.